Alright, we're well on our way to start unionizing. Let's get going, Will. Good morning, Uncle. I have... Ooh. Like a hug. No. Okay. See ya. Good morning, Gwen. Hug? Mm -hmm. No. Alright. Gotta find that sheep. Hi, sheep. Are you hungry? You're hungry. Carrot. For him. Stay out of my garden. Where is Summer? I assume you're saying good morning. Uh, good morning. Maybe over here. Bottom line, Cora. Uncle is leaping. Uncle has places to be. What's up, Uncle Atul? Oh. I've been looking at my house. It's a little bare bones. As an amateur handyman, this doesn't work at all. Oh. Maybe we should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't know what exactly. Oh. Let me have a look. Follow me. Alright. Oh. Look at that. Oh. We've already started with the improvements. Carry on. Alright. Do you know what my house needs? A desk. And some tools. Yeah, that's it. I know we don't have a lot of space on this boat. This is kind of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to my tools? I feel like I'm living a fantasy. I could work on my own projects. Maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Yeah, what's the use, right? It's not like I'm ever going to see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. Oh my god, are you okay? Uncle? Uncle, wait. Can I please hug you? Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Can we improve anything for you? Uh, no, I need aluminum. I don't have aluminum, Uncle. I'm sorry. Let's go, uh, unionize. Oh, boy. Oh, hello, you. I cannot physically buy from you. Well, that's fine. What do we got up here? Can I get up here? Oh, I can. Oh, I'm being yoinked. Mm -hmm. The time has come, my friends. Let's trample the thorns of inequity. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low-wage employment. Mm -hmm. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. The conditions here have been appalling. It's time for you to revolt. Mm -hmm. Let's show this capitalist pig that it's your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that makes him a prophet. And he is the one living off your back. Let's break his knees! Let's break his knees! We'll never mm -hmm. surrender! Oh my god. Do not despair, my friends. Together we can reverse this unjust stream of enrichment. Together we can finally give the power back to the working class. Mm -hmm. Power you deserve and wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. An extra ten minutes on our lunch break! Yeah, let's find his wallet! Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Let's follow him home! Mm -hmm. Down with the fascist hog! Mm -hmm. Let's eat his dinner and see if he likes mm -hmm. it. I'm just here because I can take a longer break. Mm -hmm. No mercy! Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Hello there. You've come to join our protest? Oh, fuck yeah, I have. Mm -hmm. Good, come on in. I even have a little something to ask you since you've just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He's fled to his office and won't come out. Mm -hmm. Coward. 
See if you can convince him to face his employees and have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge before their conditions have improved. All right. Dude, I can't wait for our next game. My friend Buck has been preparing a new game for us. I'm sure he'll tell us soon. Oh, are you the guy with the 5D20s and an auto crit on prom? Is that your bestie? Go away! What do you want? Get away from here. I've done nothing wrong. I'm the one being threatened. As if three fewer days of vacation a year was a big problem for them. I mean, they should have thought twice before starting a family, right? Hmm. I'm not responsible for their poor life choices. Jesus Christ. Nor for their lack of higher qualifications. And they should be happy I've not delocalized the production. Hmm. What will I have to do next? Pay them medical insurance, too? Why would I pay them if they don't work? Hmm. It doesn't make a difference if they have a broken arm or whooping cough. They still don't work when they're not here. Hmm. I can't budge. I'll just go tell this fucking person to come break your knees or some shit. Ooh, cool. Don't mind if I, uh, whoops. Yoink that from you, sir. Uh, he's not budging. Mm -hmm. We won't move. Not without having negotiated. Alright. They're not, they're not gonna leave. Mm -hmm. They just want to negotiate, you say? Look, it's getting hot in here. I'm getting hungry, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can tell them I'll reverse my decision on the vacations. I'll wait for you here. Mm. I did it. Mm -hmm. Not you. Mm -hmm. Nope, not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses. As well as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. Alright. She. <gasps> woman. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but... Damn, I've really got to pee. Okay, okay. Hmm. Whatever they want. Tell them they'll get whatever they want. But they have to stop calling me Mr. Moneybags, got it? Hmm. Okay, go now. I have to find the key to this door. Alright, lit. That guy, guy did it. Mm -hmm. He agreed to everything you said? Wonderful. You're one hell of a negotiator, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I like you already. Look, my work is done here thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on this fancy boat of yours. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to rest my old bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Lit. Well, I'm gonna keep exploring, though. You got anything that I shouldn't know about, Mr. Moneybags? Like this? You keeping a recipe for wonton soup? Forever. Oh. I just love working. Oh, hey, Uncle. What's up? Oh. Look at that fuse box. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. Oh. If I were their union leader, believe you me, I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. Oh. I'm gonna eat two steaks tonight. It's locked. Uncle, how do I get in? Explain. Hungry? Uh. Oh. Uncle, I want in. Mm. Hooray! Ah, oh, good for you. Oh, bouncy. But I can't bouncy yet because I'm not bouncy yet. Damn. Oh well. Let's get out of here. Let's welcome our new friend! What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Took you long enough. There she is. Mm -hmm. Woof. That felt funny. You'd think I would have seen everything at my age. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I liked it though. But it sure beats being an impersonal hooded blob. Those capes are really scratchy. Mm -hmm. Ah. It feels good to breathe the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Hmm, I'm hungry as well. You know what? Mm -hmm. Would you be a deer and fix me a little meal? That would be marvelous. 
Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can leave now. Jeez. Oh, wow, you're really hungry. Um, what would you like? Salad? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit overcooked, isn't it? And kind of bland? Mm -hmm. Ah, never mind. That'll do. <laughs> Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight for the workers' rights. Mm -hmm. You should catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? Oh, but don't get me wrong, I don't really like gossip. But we need to stay informed. Mm -hmm. In case important things happen. And I know just the right person. An old friend of mine has been roaming the seas. Mm -hmm. She could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. Mm -hmm. She should be around. She's gained a bit of weight recently, but don't tell her that. She's always making a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Mm -hmm. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. Can I hug you? What's your name? Astrid. Harvest score. Ooh. Hug. Mm. Oh, you're fluffy. Mm -hmm. That was a good hug, if I say so myself. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try. Where is our new recipe? That we just got. Our wonton. Wontons. Rice flour and meat. Hmm. Okay. Let's just cook up some squid. So that's what we need the windmill for. Are you hungry? Better not be. Give me your wolf. Let's get going for bedtime. Where are we going? Oh, I assume is that one of the sisters right there? <gasps> What's that? Ugh. South Point Docks. Olga. I'm gonna assume that Olga's where we need to go, but I wanna go to the docks. Mm, not that button. Not that button. This button. Icebreaker, give a toast for fried chicken. Find Astrid's seabound friend. Yeah, I assume that's the uh, old though. Oh, that's nice. Upgrade my blueprint table. I just need linen thread and cash. And mm, shitload of money. And I've got no shenanigans going on. What a shame. Okay, so we can't cross that. I guess we'll just go up this way. Skip the lightning, I think. Or at least skip over the lightning. It makes good money. I like doing it. Hey, cool thing, Uncle. Good morning, everybody! night forging it up. All of our iron ore done. We just need the copper. Good morning, oh. Alice. You might have noticed that there's a large empty nook in my house. You know what? Oh. We should add a wardrobe. Oh. Yes, a fancy dresser for your clothes. Oh. You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. <laughs> oh. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? Oh, fuck yeah, Alice. You need a hug. Yes, you do. Mm. That was very nice. Mm. And Astrid. Hello, good morning. You do not need a hug or food. Oh, cool sheep. Sheep's good. Harvest.
still sleeping. Morning, Uncle. Oh. Yeah, boy. Do you need a hug? Yes. Fucking oh. oh. Sure was. Gwen. Good morning. Mm. Mm. And a hug. She's here. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you, last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. Mm -hmm. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. You don't always make friends by being honest. Mm -hmm. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So, canoe under the bridge, as they say. Mm -hmm. Follow my lead? Perfect. Mm -hmm. Olga! You haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so green. Astrid! My dear old Astrid. I'm glad to see you. And glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Mm. Albert was telling everyone that Charon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed his hair or when I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Mm. Oh well. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. Mm. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? Mm-hmm. Well, as you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to catch up on things. Mm -hmm. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Irina's still focusing on her studies. And Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting. She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Yes? You won't believe what I'd heard the other day. Mm -hmm. What? Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again? Mm -hmm. What? I can't believe it. Yes! And you know what? Bob is not the father. Mm -hmm. No! You're kidding! Incredible! Mm -hmm. Oh, well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys... I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that. Mm hmm. Gio. Giovanni is back? Who told you that? Mm hmm. Where? When? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you interested? Mm hmm. Yes! Uh, no! No! I don't care what he does. Mm hmm. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. Mm hmm. Sure, okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Mm hmm. Olga, dear, could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help will be greatly appreciated. Mm -hmm. But of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. But there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks in them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks or logs you used will have become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? 
All right, hop on, little lady. Lit. Thank you, Olga. Uh, let's get some limestone, because I feel like we need that. We don't have very much of it. Some maple. Um, hmm. This room, we'll just do... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do two limestones. Are you done? Yes. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry. I'll reemerge as soon as what you've planted can be fully harvested. Daffodil. Daffodil, come back. In the meantime, take care of yourself and your passengers, Stella. Bye now. See you soon. Daffodil! Oh god! Oh god! I'm happy you found me, Munchkin, and I'm happy we've been able to help these poor souls in the factory. The workers deserve better, and the ruling class will never change. Bunch of swines, they are. Mm -hmm. They're the same as us, you know. They just pretend to be superior, only because their wallets are full and their houses are big. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know, not all rich people deserve to die. Hmm. But I've never accepted how the workers were treated. Exploited. Mm -hmm. Diminished. Just because of their birth. It's unfair and unjust. Mm -hmm. And I will fight for them until my last dying breath. Mm -hmm. What a bust. Mm -hmm. She had a lot to say, did she? Running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't judge. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing and kind, for sure, but scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to someone about this. But enough about her. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really appreciated. Mm -hmm. There's always so much going on, I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about that Giovanni character. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. All right. Who is yelling at me about what for a few minutes? Where is Summer? You know, Alice, I was, uh, she's napping. Have you seen Summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. That's odd. She's usually up at first light. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe Albert the shipwright could help us? Oh, is it? Is she too cold? She's a snake. What's up? Now that's what I call a foundry. Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? Do you smell these fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens. Mm -hmm. We're going to make some beautiful things in here. Let's go inside so I can explain how it works. Astrid, I already know, but sure, okay. Let me just hold on. Uh, hold on. Hang on. I'll be right there. Oops, wrong. Mm. and then go to Albert. What a machine. Oh my. Stella, this is a first-class foundry you've got here. Even I myself couldn't have done better. Mm -hmm. Simply stunning. Let me run you through the basics. This is a complex machine and you have to be careful around it. Mm -hmm. First, you have to load ore into the furnace. Then, you have to throw coal in the burner to power it. The machine will then reach its working temperature. Mm -hmm. Then, whatever ore you've deposited into the furnace will be smelted into ingots bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. Mm -hmm. You'll have to make sure the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well, you don't want to see this happen, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I've told you all you needed to know. Have at it. Oh, lit. You gave me some more. Oops. Let me... Melting montage. Astrid, you're in the way. This is in the way. Two, three feet to the left. That's fine. I did it. Great work. Oh, Stella, how I wished all the metal workers I've met were as gifted as you are. You look so small and weak, but you danced around the smelter like a veteran forge master. 
I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. This is a splendid machine, and I'm sure you'll put it to good use. I'll even indulge myself and use it from time to time, if you're okay with that. Absolutely, Astrid. I don't think I checked on anyone today. Francis! Sir, do I have things for you? I don't think I have anything else for you. Oh, two coal and he would give me a treasure map! Don't fucking go anywhere. No, 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 no. Way down. <laughs> I'll just go take some out of the furnace. Wait. I want the treasure map. No, Francis. Francis. Why are you like this? I'm turning this ship around. We're turning around. <laughs> No, you changed in the two seconds! <laughs> Wait, did you? <gasps> no, you didn't! I was just scrolled to the bottom! Treasure map! Okay. Uh... I have four to thousand gems for that? Not really. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, he has a quest. Oh. Mm -hmm. You found your first treasure map! You might find something interesting from it. Look inside, you'll find coordinates for some treasure. Thank you. Inside the bottom. Negative 58, negative 52. 58, 52. Let's see if we can go find that, maybe. Negative 58. Oh, that's past a border. Ugh. Francis. I've never been to the meadows. We're back up with the maple and stuff. Okay, let's go to Albert. Go to Albert, and then we'll try to upgrade some things. It's bedtime, and water the plants. It's getting hectic on the boat. It's not a lot of time to just not do anything. Oh, do you think he's still here? Wait. Just pulled this stuff up. Are you still here? Like, available here? I don't think so. Linen fabric and do iron ore! Oh, he just, I just. <sighs> Good morning, all. Mm -hmm. Uncle is hungry. Ooh. Thank you, Nina Hug. No. Hello, Alice. Oh. Some people are getting a bit hungry. Have you thought about the next meal? Is it you? Are you the next are you the person who's getting hungry? What do you like? Old-fashioned food. Do you like healthy? Well, you don't hate it. Now some copper. Not quite. Maple logs. I think that is all that we needed. Do whatever that one improvement was that we couldn't do. I have something for you. Oh. Here, Stella, I've baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. <gasps> A fisherman's pie! Alice, you shouldn't have. That's so sweet of you. Let's see, was it her house? Yes. There we go. I got an cheat boat. Mm -hmm. Wow. Stop banging, she's sleeping at all. The house looks so much better. As if everything had been designed with my happiness in mind. Because it was. The textures, the tones, the coziness. Mm. 
It's perfect. Look at you, listening to me and building such a nice cabin for me. I won't forget this. You're welcome. Wait, why are you sad? Well, well. Mm -hmm. Got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Oh, bless. Ooh, fisherman pie. Um. Okay, let's see. Comfort food and fine dining. Let's see what we got. Oh, we want a disc. Mm -hmm. Yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. And a hug. Mm -hmm. I love how shocked she looks mm -hmm. every time. Here you go. Alright, Albert. Can you do something to help us with summer? Got some water. Oh, if I don't know that face. It's about the house. The green and brown one, right? Have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I could see from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys, we're real professionals. It's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship. But that house, oh wow. It had to be the worst job I've ever seen. So consider this a lesson. Don't just trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. So tell me, what complaints does your passenger have? What, she's sleeping? Oh, of course. That bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not mentioning her dry and scaly skin. No, no, she needs a temperature and humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so shoddily designed that there's ample cracks for wiring and electronics. <laughs> Got a shit on me like that, dude? So yeah, there you go. Some plans and schematics for a nice all-in-one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy. After all, how can you repay your debt if your boat falls to pieces? <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <gasps> I can afford the orchard, the sheep crown, and the windmill. Or, I need a spirit flower. What the heck is a spirit flower? Can't make our boat any better, so I guess I'll just do that. Thanks. Chicken coop, a lounge, and a crusher for some wool. Can I do that now? Can I get 10 wool fabric? Hold on, Albert. I might be back. Now we've got the juice, we can go upgrade again. There's no way. Wait one second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it. Looming over me. Thanks. I just need this, thanks. Chicken coop. Smithy, cow stall, and a cellar. Ooh, silica powder and zinc ingot. We need 8,000 iron ingots, linen fabric, and a spirit flower. I have no idea how we're gonna get a spirit flower. I don't know what that is. Yep. Hello, Francis. Oops. Nice to see you. I don't have any nebula fabric, I don't have a solo squid or a sockeye salmon. I don't have any bright jelly, I don't have enough turnips, I don't have any coffee beans, that's fine. I will buy your seeds. And I will buy all that. See you, Francis. Okay, where are we going? I don't know, we're kind of hemmed in on all sides. I guess we can go to the meadows. Let's see what we need to get some of her HVAC. Oh. Glass. One more piece of glass. Oh, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gwen. What's up? Mm -hmm. Look, Stella, I... I'm sorry. I think I just need some space. Just a bit of time by myself. Mm -hmm. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. Mm -hmm. I just need to be alone for a little while. Okay. Take all the time you need, Gwen. We'll be here when you're ready to rejoin. I'll have some coffee 
brewed up and ready and waiting for her. One piece of glass coming up. Storm. Yes, we need the money, Uncle. And we're on the road again. We have mail. Letter from Olga! Astrid, with the two of us caught up on the latest gossip, I forgot to give you something. I found this while flipping through the magazines, and it made me think of you. It definitely fits your style and panache. Also, I heard a rumor your husband could be in Iwashima countryside. Might be worth checking it out. I'll keep asking around just in case your old friend Olga. A letter, you say? From Olga? This is so nice of her. Olga had news about Giovanni's whereabouts. Iwashima countryside, you say? Oh. Okay. We should probably go take a look. And what? An inspiration for a house? For me? Mm -hmm. How thoughtful. Can't deny it, Olga knows me so well. Yes, indeed, I would be very happy to have such a nice den to live in. Mm -hmm. It's always pleasant to know someone is thinking about you. I mean, you could have thought about this yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, I know you're very busy, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Being the spirit fair and all. It's okay, I won't begrudge you. And I know you'll... And I know you. You'll build this nice cabin aboard as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. You're so resourceful, after all. Thanks a lot, Stun. I can't wait. Oh boy, what do you need? There's a notification. More mail. Hello, mailbox. Furogawa to- <gasps> Furogawa tours! Oh, so- this is so important. Greetings from Furogawa. Experience the wonders of the great outdoors. You can now take a tour of the city, see the shops, visit our shrine, take in the sights. Available now in Furogawa. Oh, that's so important. Alright, we're gonna go hang out, and it's gonna be great. Let's see, a windmill needs marble and aluminum. An orchard needs nebula thread. I can make a sheep corral. How big is it? Oh, I can fit it! <laughs> Alright, I can put the sheep in there. A chicken coop for wool, copper, and ash planks. And a crusher for a pulsar ingot. Ash planks and a zinc ingot. This... Astrid's bungalow. Oh, she just needs slate and linen. We can do that. That's easy. And this, the lounge, is ash planks and zinc ingots. Perfect. Now I can keep the sheep in here. Hey, little guy. Oh, that's so cute. I do that. No! Ah, because I'm out of copper! Shit! That's fine. I can just make four copper ingots. Now we can go make for summer. There you go, sweetheart. You feeling better, Summer? I guess we'll see you in the morning. Let's just sleep. Thank you. 